Hey there everybody, I'm just fueling up and then I'm going to be heading out to Hassie Lake which is just west of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada to try my luck at a little bit of stock pond rainbow trout ice fishing. Stick around on this outdoor adventure. Alright folks, well I just got out here to the lake. I'm going to get changed into my uh, fishing clothes, my coveralls and my boots and uh, head out here on the water. Uh, it's pretty funny, there's quite a lot of open water so I'll show you here what I mean afterwards but this lake is aerated which is kind of interesting. So. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Uh, you're also going to want to stick around here too because I have a few shout outs, uh, a few people that I want to thank for supporting the channel and I want to tell you about some plans that I have for an upcoming contest. So uh, anyways, like I said, let's get changed into our fishing clothes and we'll catch up with you in the lake. All right, everybody. Well, we're set up. It's, uh, my eyes are playing tricks on me from looking down the hole and having this light in my face, but I think it's maybe about 11.30 or 11.40. Super nice day, probably like 6 degrees Celsius or something like that. Uh, I'm checking out uh, this lake called Hassie Lake. Um, so Hassie Lake used to be filled, I think, with perch a number of years ago. Uh, but then I think the water levels dropped and there became too much contamination from birds. And so the lake pretty much died out. But a few years ago, they I think they killed everything out of the lake. They added in aerators and restocked it with rainbow trout. So the fishing's supposed to be fairly good here since it's been restocked. So um, I'm excited to check it out. As you guys can see, I am alone today. No, sna no snack squad with me. Uh, they weren't up to coming out, so just me today. But I thought that that would be good just to kind of check out something different. Um, that way if it was disappointing, um, you know, they're not bummed out too, right? So, um, set up here with a rod and a holder right now that I'm jigging and then the jaw jacker off to the other side. Oh, I think I can hear it raining. It's supposed to rain a little here today, so I should go grab my jacket and stuff so it doesn't get wet. We'll check in with you right away. Wind's whipping around here a little bit. I'm glad I, uh, tied down the tent. I don't know what we're supposed to get out of this. I think they were calling for some snow. And uh, maybe a little bit of rain, I don't know exactly. But I'm, uh, I'm rolling with a, like a wire worm tape hook on this rod with some maggots. And then on the jaw jacker, I put on a power bait type um, marshmallow. not in that deep of water, maybe 10 or so feet. A lot of guys are packing up, but a lot of guys were out here with no tents, so maybe they're just not wanting to get wet, or maybe the fishing sucks, I don't know. We'll see. folks <clears throat> just me today like I mentioned but you still gotta have good snacks uh, I brought along with me a couple of pulled pork sandwiches the weather has been really nice so uh, yesterday I fired up my smoker and uh, made a nice Kansas City style pulled pork shoulder it was awesome and I'm also having today a Ribstone Creek lager so oh man the wind is pretty bad. Um, I don't know how long I can keep it up. I uh, have all the sides tied down and I threw some snow on the tent skirt on the side facing the wind, but she's pretty flipping gusty, so we'll see how it goes. A little nervous. Anyways, cheers. Oh my god, holy smokes, that was windy. Um, as you can see, I've uh, taken the tent down. I was afraid that it was literally going to blow away and I certainly don't want to chase it 
across the lake. So I took it down, so I got the jaw jacker up. I might just fish, it's still nice and it stopped raining or sleeting, whatever. So um, I might still fish here for a little bit, but it sucks because I like sight fishing. And, uh, it sucks when uh, I can't see down the holes. And uh, the tent is good as well to kind of cut some of the wind. So hopefully the wind isn't too bad here on the filming. Um, but yeah, anyways, we'll check in with you soon. All right, well, I wanted to stop here too and uh, thank you guys all for helping me out. So far I am over 400 subscribers which I'm super excited about. Um, really appreciate everyone who's helped out. Uh, Twitter friends, Facebook friends, real life friends, YouTube friends. I mean, you guys have all been absolutely great helping me out uh, to get here to this milestone so I, I couldn't be happier. Um, the next real stretch goal for me is 500 subscribers and I, I do just want to let you know that uh, once we hit 500 subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway and I'm going to be giving away one of my DC Outdoors toques that you see here and I'll be sending you a few decals as well. And uh, I might uh, add to that as we get closer to five, but uh, for now that's what I'm thinking. So um, continue to subscribe and leave comments and, and like my video because it really helps get word out there and really helps the channel grow. Um, and for those of you who are subscribed, um, you'll be able to uh, win, like I said, one of these DC Outdoors toques and uh, some decals too. Um, I also want to say thank you to a few really big supporters of the channel. Uh, I got to thank White Rook 85. Uh, if you haven't checked out White Rook's uh, channel, um, really good stuff. I mean, he'll post on there his uh, camp videos. Basically, he's got a really cool cabin out in PA. Um, where him and his uh, family and, and good friends go out hunting and cooking up some really good food and just hanging out and enjoying cabin life. So I really like his channel. Uh, he's given me a couple shout outs on his channel. It's really helped me a lot. So I want to say thank you. Uh, I also got to thank Matt, my day off. So uh, Matt is based down in Red Deer, Alberta. Um, really similar uh, ethics and mentality as me and similar stuff as my channel so Matt gets out on his weekends um, and he goes ice fishing hunting open water fishing he goes for hikes uh, he also experiments with some really hot food so um, I, I really do think that you will like uh, Matt's channel so if you haven't checked out my day off um, I really gotta ask you to do me a big favor and, and pop over to his channel too um, so for both of those guys, like I said, if you haven't checked them out, please drop by them, um, give them a subscribe, and uh, tell them that uh, DC Outdoors, uh, you know, sent you there. It's almost 2 o'clock. I've been out here for nearly 3 hours. Nothing yet. I don't know if you guys are leaving and walking past and they didn't look like they're catching anything either so maybe it's just slow maybe it's fished out I mean if it's a stock pond it could be okay everybody well it's about 10 after 2 um, I think I'm gonna start to clean up here in a few more minutes it's been super slow haven't had any bites on the power bait when I switched over to these like cheese marshmallows and then uh, on the jaw jacker I'm still running a little wire worm that's just like filled up with uh, white and red maggots but haven't had a bite on either um, I have moved over to a second set of holes you know not too far away from the other ones maybe like 20 feet or so away a little closer to this aeration hole but uh, it's still been very 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 slow so um, like I said I might give it another five or ten minutes and start to kind of pack up but uh, I guess the good news is at least since I have the tent down cleaning up today should be pretty easy Buddy. Well, we're back here at the truck. Uh, unfortunately, it's a bit of a bummer day. Um, no fish, no bites, too windy to, to sit in the tent, but um, nice to check out something a little bit different um, than the same like that I hit the last few times. Um, anyways, I do want to say once again that if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that subscribe and the bell notification button so that you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.